At the time of this recording, about half the United States thinks that we are heading towards another civil war. And that might be scary for some of you. And if it's not scary for you, then you should at least care. Do you know how we keep ourselves from getting into an all-out war with each other? We have to think about ourselves first, not in a selfish way, but more in a kind of a meta way. How do you see the world? How do you know things? How do you relate to people and ideas? These are all really big questions, I know that. And how do you even start to answer questions like that? It's worth trying, at least. What we think about the world and reality is of really big importance, huge, in fact. Why, you may ask? Well, because what we think about reality kind of changes everything. Every human being is unique and then has to interact with other human beings who are also unique. And we have to do that to live and to survive, duh. And that also means that there are unique ways that all of us observe the world and then think about those things, process information, and then have to convey those ideas to other people. Do you want to be understood and have meaningful relationships with those around you? I'll go ahead and answer your own question. Yes, I know that you do. Well, that means that you need to understand the world that's around you, around us, and basically understand our reality. We need to discover truth. Now, I know that there are many of you out there who would say that we create our own truth, that everyone's thoughts and ideas are equally valid before even being tested or evaluated, and that only Sith deal in absolutes. Well, I can actually disprove that belief in one quick, swift statement. I disagree. Yes, I disagree with the idea that people can just create their own truth. Now, can my idea that you cannot create your own truth and the idea that you can create your own truth, can those both be true at the same time? I'll speed this up. No, no, they cannot. You cannot have those two opposing views equal and still be true. When disagreements about truth arise, we have to evaluate and we have to evaluate those things, which means that there must be some sort of a right and a wrong. Otherwise, what are we evaluating? Or at the very least, there has to be something that's more correct and less correct. Not everything is cut and dry the first time. It is my belief that there has been a systematic dismantling of critical thinking in our modern day to make everyone more susceptible and easier to control and to manipulate. Now, if you think that sounds like conspiracy, yes, yes it is, because all I can say is grow up. It's not all going to be gumdrops and sunshine. There are oppressors who want to take advantage of others. And if you think that's impossible, then you haven't been paying attention your whole life. Now, if you do disagree with that, I would love to have the conversation. Not a fight, not a verbal brawl, but a real conversation between two people who can disagree and then be friendly afterwards. Now, if you don't think that's possible or you can't come up with a way to have a conversation like that with someone that you disagree with, that doesn't lead to you killing each other, then you're actually proving my point. And hopefully that scares you that you could in some way be manipulated to believe something like this. If you disagree with all my takes, I really do hope that you stick around and that we have a good conversation. Everyone is welcome at this proverbial table of ideas. One fun way that we can evaluate ideas is through myths, stories, and legends. See, I don't think that most people really evaluate their ethics, their morality, uh, truth, the world around them, simply through uh, philosophy books or ancient manuscripts. We measure and evaluate principles through the stories that we hear and that we tell. Even a Yelp review is a story that you convey in order for someone else to be able to evaluate something and make a good decision, or at least a better one. Telling stories is natural for people. It's just some people are really terrible at it. And we often understand who we are by the stories that we embrace, by our heroes. So we will practice evaluating understanding and ideas by looking at movies, TV shows, stories, books, the news, uh, old wives tales, whatever. All of these things are valuable to some degree and we'll have some cheeky fun doing it. So back to the civil war question. How do we keep things civil? How do we live alongside each other? Well, instead of fighting physically, we fight properly in the arena of ideas and we challenge each other with words and well thought out concepts. We gain understanding from each other in such a way that we can actually look at each other and say, I disagree with you, but I understand where you're coming from and I respect you as a valuable human being. 
I mean, maybe we don't say that specifically or in those words, but that's kind of the motivation behind it. And that is the first step to not killing each other. And it just gets better from there. All these things we've talked about so far in this video, they help us to understand and evaluate the reality that's around us and they help us to find truth. So going back to that idea of truth, what is truth? Well, I can't just come out and tell you what truth is. Part of discovering truth is the journey. It's the wandering and making connections that allows us to actually recognize truth when we do see it. Otherwise, we might actually pass right on by the truth that we are actually looking for. So I invite all of you, let's go on this journey together. Let's take a walkabout in the rough country of ideas and wisdom and understanding and words and definitions and all those great things. We can think differently together. And if that sounds like a fun Sunday afternoon, thumbs and subs, if you wouldn't mind. More importantly, I actually would ask you to share this video, share this channel with someone else who you think would benefit from this type of a journey or needs to go on this type of a journey or just would have fun. And until then, Pilgrim on my friends, I will see you out there.